Hey, let's add in a button. And when you go to it, it switches to show you social sharing icons that the user or viewer can click to go elsewhere. The buttons could even take you to another page as well, by the way. So we're going to drop into it some HTML code and then some CSS to style it and help it go to where it needs to go. First thing we're going to do is go to the HTML widget, which is over here, and we're going to drop it in. So I've dumped in the HTML code. And at this point, you're going to be thinking, well, that is so plain boring. It's just a square. You can probably see the icons just appearing over there as well. But the idea behind this code is it is relatively very, very simple. We are using font awesome icons. I know some people might not want to do that, but there are there are other ways you could do it. If you're very good with your SVG paths and put your entire path code in, you could do that as well. If you want to keep it pretty simple, if you go to the website called fontawesome.com, you go to the icons, and then you can find the icons you want to be using. I'm at the minute only doing three icons, a Twitter, a home icon, and a Facebook icon. I'm going to show you how to add more in a moment as well. But all of these icons, though, I also do have my uh, website or my Twitter address, stuff like that in there as well. So this is where you would do it. You put your URL address in and you put your icon as well. Bear in mind, though, that at the moment, this is only going to have the word button appearing. If you did want to add in, uh, I don't know why I've got a span there twice, actually. Yeah, sorry. If you want to add it in um, like um, an icon next door to the button, again, you would use the same approach here. You would drop in an icon and you could do that. But we're just going to have the word button. So this is all relatively simple. The key bit comes when we go to the advanced tab. We go to custom CSS and we drop in the styling. Let's do that now. Ta -da! And that's it. We have a button with a blue background and a white uh, text. You hover over it. And did you see the icons will come in one at a time? Notice it. They come in one at a time. Watch. Did you see that? So if you've got 10, you'll have 10 come in gradually. And I'll show you the speed transition for that. Here's where you can mess around with the color. Da -da 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 -da, like that. Let's just put it back to blue because that was a little bit clearer. And what we're looking at, you can start to modify the weighting of your text, the size of your text, if you're going to have the shadow behind the button. Um, when we scroll down, though, to the bottom, this is the key bit. There are only three of these at the moment in place. So we have child one, child two, and child three, because we have three icons. And do you notice the transition speed? 0.15 seconds, then it goes up to 0.2, then it goes up to 0.25. If we add in a fourth icon, we will then increase it to 0.3. And if you were to make those transition gaps bigger, it would take longer for them to transition. But I think the way it does it is quite cool. So what if we do want to add in a fourth icon that appears on here? And what you do is you just pick, you go to the very last one and you copy the bit from the li to the backslash li. You copy that, hit return a few times over here, add it in again. I would say just get rid of the spacing to keep it clean. Keep it clean. And then over here, you would change your URL address and you would change your icon. So if we go back to font awesome icons and do a search for Insta, I click it and it will. I know it's Instagram, but I'm just showing you it's FA Instagram. So I just pick up the word Instagram, go back to my 5.9 and I'm just change the latter bit of that code. You don't change the FA bit. You just do the bit at the end. So now we have an Instagram icon as well. And it will, you would have put your Instagram web address, URL, whatever you want into there. If we go back to advanced, go back to custom CSS, we just go to the very last uh, bit of code here. We pick this up here for child three. We then go underneath. We paste it in like that. We'll now change this to be child four. And I'm going to change this to now be 0.3. Let's just update that. And let's see what happens when we now hover over this. Look at that. We get four icons appearing like that. And, I'm, and, and you're probably thinking, well, they are now a little bit closer to the borders. And if you go back to the CSS where we have padding of 16 and 32, if you feel like they're too close, just increase that. Let's just go with 38 and you'll get a bit more spacing. In fact, I'll, let me just show you what happens if I go to 50. OK, we get a bigger button and then they're a little bit more spaced out. But the beauty about this is you could apply this somewhere where you're not now just showing show short social sharing icons but you're also sharing other things as well. So you could almost have, if you think about it, a menu system. So if you've now got your, um, your buttons, which are indicative of where they're going on your website, you could almost have this somewhere on your website, maybe uh, sticky at the bottom or at the top. 
And it's now like you just hover over it and now you've got your menu and they just click it and it takes them to a certain page or a certain location. Just to let you know though, if you do go back to your content, if I go to the second icon home and I type and NBSP, which is space, and when I write the word home, look what happens when you hover over it. You now get the word home. And if you want to have more spacing, so I would now do something like this. You got a bit more spacing. By the way, remember, this is a little bit tight. So I'm going to go back to my advanced, go to my custom CSS, and I'm going to make this be about, let's go for 80, okay? When you now hover, you got the icon and you've got the wording. And when you click over it, that would take you to whichever is the URL you wanted. This is a neat little trick that you could use. Like I said, for your menu system or something like that. Um, or just your social sharing icons. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And don't worry, the code for this is in the description. Take care. I'll see you soon.